The creators of faith-based films Courageous and Fireproof have brought us a new film that is getting a lot of buzz at the box office. War Room has already broken records at the box office, bringing in $27 million in just 11 days. The film centers on the power of prayer. Joining me is Priscilla Shire, well-known Bible teacher, speaker, and author, and now we can add actress to that list. She plays Elizabeth Jordan in the film. Hello, Priscilla. Hi there, how are you? I am so well. As I just said to you moments ago, I was bawling, crying, praising Jesus, everything throughout this movie. Thank you oh. so much for such a powerful film. You are so welcome and thank you for enjoying it so much and being blessed by it. It's just a gift to all of us who were a part of the film to have been you know, given the opportunity to be a part of this project. Let's talk about that gift a little bit more. I mean, as I said, you know, you've been known as a powerful Bible teacher, writing Bible studies books, um, but now you're, this is your first major film role. Why War Room? Why did yeah. you choose to, to make your debut with War Room? Oh my goodness. Well, you know, when the Kendrick brothers called me and asked if I would consider being a part of this film, I laughed out loud at the thought of it. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. You know that there are actors and actresses and this is what they do and they would do a really good job. And, um, you know, I just wanted to be really careful about doing anything that was a departure from what I know the Lord has called us to do. Um, but the Kendrick brothers said, hey, Priscilla, just read the script, because I think when you read it, you'll realize that it is a message you would want to deliver anyway. Mm. And they were right. It's just a different way of saying something I'd want to say anyway. So it is a little bit of a departure from the way I normally do ministry, but I still consider it to be uh, ministry. And I was willing to do it because it's the Kendrick brothers. They have so much integrity and character and sincere love for the Lord that it has been a privilege to partner with them. That's great. I know we talked about ministry. I mean, let's talk about Karen Abercrombie for a moment because she was an amazing actor in this film. Am oh my goodness. I mean, every scene just blew me away. What was it like working with her? Well, she was one of the, you know, the, there were several of us, myself and the young lady who plays my daughter, Alina Pitts. Um, you know, we had never been in a film before or done acting before, but Karen Abercrombie is a very seasoned actress. This is what she does, but she also is just loves the Lord and believed in the message of this film. And so she didn't just get the part. I know that the Kendrick brothers didn't just give her the part because she's great at it, mm -hmm. but also because she actually believed in the, the message. And it was a thrill to work across from her because she just knows what she's doing. And she was so patient and gracious with the rest of us who were coming along as a little bit of a novice on the set. She was just very gracious and kind. And as you saw in the movie, and as everyone agrees, she was brilliant. The heart and soul of this movie really is uh, Miss Clara, paid, played by Karen Abercrombie. Yeah. This movie is about prayer and the power of prayer. What is it about prayer that makes it so powerful? Prayer is the mechanism that God has given us to actually unlock the resources of heaven to be experienced on earth. It's like he gave us a key and said, here it is. All you have to do is use it. And when you use this key in my name, you will find that all the power of heaven is available to you. So why the heck we don't use that key? I don't know, but we don't. We've sort of devalued the significance of prayer so much so that we spend our time doing everything else when it comes to the problems in our lives. We do everything else. We throw money at it. We throw our words at it, our frustration our anger. We do everything except pray. And I think that's one of the major deceptive strategies of the enemy is to devalue the significance of the weapon that he knows would be most powerful and effective against him. And especially marriages. I feel like marriages have kind of gone under an, an attack, you know, with the recent Ashley Madison yeah, scandal. Oh yeah. um, the message of, of sticking together as couples and fighting through this, I think just is so resounding in this film. Absolutely. It really is the crux of it. And that's uh, one thing I appreciate about the Kendrick brothers as well, is they took this big sort of theological in the clouds topic like prayer, and they brought it down to a very practical circumstance that pretty much everybody that's going into the theater, they either see themselves in it, or if they're not married, they see their parents in it or the couple that, you know, that they live next door to or their friends. So people can so see themselves in the situation. And by being so relatable with this film, the Kendrick brothers are able to introduce the concept concept and the topic of prayer. Well, congratulations again, Priscilla, for all of the success in this film. We hope that it will continue to be successful up here in Canada, and we look forward to seeing it in many theaters across our country. Thank you again, Priscilla Shire, from the new film, War Room. Thank you.